Evening guys, so tonight I'm going to be doing a review of the XQ Max Blue Shadow Dance. That's these. Uh, we'll be doing the 18 gram soft hit version today. We'll be doing some barrel weights, uh, checking the sizes on some digital calipers. Uh, we'll also be looking at the packaging, presentation of the darts themselves. Um, we'll have a little look at the barrels. I'll give my honest opinion on them. And then we'll have a few throws at the boards and a little summary at the end. Okay, so let's have a look at the packaging that we've got here with the XQ Max Sports Blue Shadows. So obviously you see here we've got a nice plastic casing. Um, it's so obviously, obviously housed with a card around the front showing the Blue Shadow logo at the front and the XQ Max down at the bottom. These are 80% tungsten and also tells you at the top there the 18 gram soft tip. So we're going to give these a little open up and see what's inside. Nice and old school with this setup actually. You get the uh, the little plastic case, or as I call it, the the pub dart case. So you get your little plastic case there that houses the darts. Obviously, you get your standard set of flights, which is Q Max Blue Shadow floats just in the end there, and then you've got some Max Grip stems that come with it as well. Uh, nice little blue background in there. I think that insert you can take that out. But yeah, all in all, it's a nice little case and on the back again obviously you've got your disclaimers you've got a qmax logo at the bottom there obviously it tells you a little bit about the the brand there and also gives you the same warning that darts uh, and throwing darts at a dartboard is an adult sport any of you guys with um young kiddies out there um, that are playing please make sure that you do supervise them and make sure that they're under adult supervision um, yes they will get the hang of it and yes they will get better but at the start just make sure you give them a little bit of guidance because these things they can still sort of cause you a little bit of damage if they come out and go in your toe okay um, so looking at the packaging what we do now is we'll take some of the barrels out and we'll go and have a look and we'll go on to the next stage of the long explainer review okay so first off we're going to take a little look at the barrel weights we're just going to match weight and then we compare the weights of each barrel in turn so the first one there pop that on there that's 18.21 grams okay, the second one that's coming out 18.26 uh, 18.14 so yeah they're they're really good i mean they're, they're only 0.1 of a gram away from each other um, and what we'll do now is we'll have a quick look and we'll just do a quick test on the actual dimensions. So I've got my trusted digi caliper here. Uh, so we we'll just test the width to start with and we'll do it on the widest point. And that's coming out at around about six millimeters on the width. And we we'll just test the length just here. So they're coming out around about it would take a pinch, I would say about 49 millimeters, but 49.2 to be precise. So they're quite a nice sort of standard length and standard width dart, a really nice and straight barrel. If we have a closer look here, we can see that the, the actual rings are very, very tiny towards the top of the dart. So these would most probably suit a rear gripping dart player. Um, we have the, the black coating across the entirety of the dart. And the, the insert here of the front rings is inserted with a light blue, um, which gives it sort of its name, I guess, the, the blue shadow with the black and the blue. And then obviously you've got the Q-Max, or the XQ-Max, etched into the top there and painted on with silver. Um, again, 2BA in the base, 2BA in the top, and these do come with a standard set of Max Grips. So these are the Max Grip stems. Just pop onto there and then obviously you've got a standard dimple soft tip that you would get in most darts as a basic tip to start you off with so that's the makeup of the dart um i like the look of them if i'm honest regarding the grip i think the coating that they place on the outside in the black has taken a heck of a lot of the grip away from the dart um if they'd have left these tungsten and just literally just painted the blue into the actual the rings themselves and not coated it i think you get a lot better grip from this but i'm not holding up too much hope for the grip on these ones but we'll take them to the board we'll have a look have a little throw 
and see how we get on with them. Okay, we'll have a few throws at the board with the uh, XQ Maxes. So these are the blue shadows. So yeah, that's why you thought it may be the case. That coating that's on the dart is literally there's hardly any grip in these at all. For me personally, I do I like prefer a grippy dart, but I just think without the coating, it would have been a much easier dart to throw, um, and you would have got a lot more grip out of them. They keep rolling off the end of my thumb. I've got no purchase off the dart. People that prefer a lesser grip, these would be a, a nice, slim, straight barrel dart. Yeah, just have three more. I like the flights on these as well, they're quite stylish. It's like a spruce smoke effect, they're quite cool. So yeah, they're, they're, they're a good dart for somebody who doesn't like a, an aggressive grip. Um, but yeah, we'll go and have a little, little summary of these now. So guys, just to summarise quickly then, just to, to go through the uh, the XQ Max Blue Shadows. Um, yeah, nice dart, a uh, nice slimline barrel, um, not too long, um, but they still kept it sort of nice and slim, which is easy to do, I guess, when you're working with an 18 grand dart, you'll find that um, a lot of the darts that you find soft tip are generally a, a nice thin dart. Um, I I don't think that they're the, the greatest dart for grip. If you do like an aggressive grip or you do like something that's got a strong grip, um, I'd probably go for a dart that doesn't have this black coating on it. Um, I'd probably say it's about a two to two and a half on the grip factor. I mean, if you really do hold on to it and pu push your hand hard into the dart, you can get some grip on it but but to be able to pick it up easily and get a decent purchase on the dart i found it very difficult um tips held up well um during testing so i mean the standard tips you get with these are actually quite good um i've been using various different tips recently um and i will be doing a review later on um this month just to sort of give you an idea of how i found different tips I've had some really interesting feedback from people over the last sort of two or three weeks um, that, that really does sort of give you an insight onto how difficult it is to find the perfect soft tip setup. Um, there's so many differentials in, in the darts, i.e. the tips, your barrels, your stems. Do you use like an all-in-one stem set like um, and flight set like the Condors? Um, do you use an L-style? Do you use an 8-flight? Do you use a standard stem? and fly what tips do you use do you use a sh short micro tip do you prefer a long tip is it a thinner tip is it a thicker tip but there's bits and pieces that i'll go through lots of different bits and bobs in that review um also we've got the the soft tip central uk two tier nexus tournament um sign ups for that are going really well got over 100 people now sign up for that um also we are going to make a big announcement um, regarding that very soon um, but fortunately we're going to be playing our cards very close to our chest um, and we're we're going to sort of let you guys know the big news closer to the day okay um, we don't want to we don't want to give it all away too soon um, so yeah stay tuned subscribe like um, follow us on twitter um, also follow Super Darts as well, a uh, great bunch of guys, really supportive of us, just started up on Twitter with their UK Twitter account and they're also their Norwegian Twitter account, so give them a look as well, doing really good things. Um, but moving forward, we will be reviewing some Harrow's Darts and some more designer darts coming up and we've got the, the final UK exclusive so far of our Super Darts um, and that's going to be coming up, I would say in the next two weeks or so. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.